Hi, this is Narayan from Sunya Technologies. Today I am going to discuss about Fibonacci series without using temporary variable in Python. What is Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci sequence is a series of numbers where the next term is the sum of previous two terms. The formula to calculate Fibonacci series is f of n equal to f of n minus 1 plus f of n minus 2. For example, if you want to find Fibonacci of 5, f of 5 equal to f of 5 minus 1 that means f of 4 plus f of 5 minus 2 that means f of 3. In the below table, f of 3 equal to 2, f of 4 is equal to 3, then f of 5 is equal to f of 3 plus f of 4 that means 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. This is the Fibonacci sequence. Fibonacci sequence starts with 0 and 1. Here 0 plus 1 will get next turn 1. Then 1 plus 1 will get next turn 2. Then 1 plus 2 will get next turn 3 and so on. Here we will use swapping logic. We will discuss this logic over Visual Studio. Launch Visual Studio and create Python application. We need to get the input value from command prompt. Use input of please provide input value and assign to integer variable input number input method returns string value but we are trying to store it in integer variable we need to convert from string to integer use int method later we need to pass input number to Fibonacci method declare Fibonacci method and pass input number we need to implement Fibonacci method provide implementation Fibonacci of input number if you want to declare methods in python then we need to use def keyword use def colon we need to declare two variables to store first two values 0 and 1 previous comma next equal to 0 comma 1 in this statement 0 will be stored in previous variable and 1 will store in next variable later we need to check if condition that user provided data is correct or not if input number less than or equal to 0 print user input is invalid here we use for loop to get the values from 0 to input number and generate Fibonacci sequence for i in range of input number here range method will give the values from 0 to input number minus 1 print previous previous comma next equal to next comma previous plus next in this statement here next value stored into previous and previous plus next stored into next variable. We will execute this program without debugging. That means go to debug, start without debugging or control F5, click it. Please provide input value minus 4, enter and we are getting output as user input is invalid. We will provide valid data, control F5, please provide input value 5. And we are getting output as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3. Here 0 plus 1 will get 1, 1 plus 1, 2, then 1 plus 2, 3, and so on. We will execute this program or debugging to understand the flow of the execution. Put the breakpoint, go to debug, start debugging or F5, and later we need to click step into or F11. First click on start debugging, F11. We need to read the input value from command prompt 5 enter input value is input number is called 5 f11 here previous and next variable is there here next is equal to 1 previous is equal to 0 for i in range of input number input number is 5 f11 i is equal to 0 then print the previous previous is equal to 0 f11 and here 0 printed then next value stored into previous and previous plus next stored into next variable then i is equal to 1 then print of previous we are printing 1 
then write a nest value to student to previous and then previous plus nest previous is equal to 1 nest is equal to 2 1 plus 2 student to nest variables nest is equal to 3 like this it will continue and print the value 0 1 1 2 3 we will discuss this program using while loop remove for loop declare i variable i equal to 1 while i less than or equal to input number print previous previous comma next equal to next comma previous plus next and then we need to increment i value i equal to i plus 1 run without debugging control f5 please provide input value 6 enter and we are getting output as 0 1 1 2 3 5 we will execute this program of debugging go to go to debug start debugging f11 read the input value from command prompt 5 enter pass input value to Fibonacci method input 5 and assign 0 and 1 to previous and next variables and here we are checking input is less than or equal to 0 input is 5 5 less than or equal to 0 false it will go to while loop here we are assigning i value as 1 then 1 less than or equal to 5 true print previous 0 and then next value student to previous and previous plus next student to next and then i increment it to 2 2 less than or equal to 5 print previous and then it will continue here i is equal to 5 5 less than or equal to 5 true then print up previous then next student to previous previous plus next student to next then i is equal to 6 6 less than or equal to 5 false it will exit from while loop and we are getting output as 0 1 1 2 3 that's it for today if you like this video please share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel for future videos thank you for watching have a nice day